Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Charlie from Charlie's Cruise Tips and Reviews. So today I will be reviewing the uh, Carnival Magic cruise ship on Carnival Cruise Lines. I have uh, just returned back about a week and a half ago from sailing on the Carnival Magic. Uh, that was my second time on that ship in the last four and a half, five months. As you might have recalled in a previous video, I said I was just going to do an outline on that ship because I had another cruise coming up within a few months on the same ship. That is the Carnival Magic with it, which I had just returned from. So now I'm going to do a full review of the ship. I'm not going to get into cruise excursions because I actually didn't really book any excursion except for one in Belize and um, I'm just not going to get into the ports of call this time around. I will say it was a Western Caribbean itinerary. It went Miami, Grand Cayman, Roten Island, Honduras, Mahogany Bay, which is the only private cruise port there. It's only for Carnival Cruise Line ships. We imported the uh, same day as the Carnival uh, Breeze, I believe. I'm not 100% sure which ship it was, but I believe it was the Breeze, um, Belize, and uh, Cozumel, Mexico. So, um, so as I said, my second time in this on this ship in uh, the last four and a half, five months. This is one of uh, Carnival's better ships. This is a Dream Class ship. First time I've done a Dream Class ship was the Magic. So, just want to say it's a bit different than the uh, Conquest class and Vista class ships, but it's still a very good ship. Okay, so first thing I want to talk about is the cruise director and his staff, or should I say, just uh, overall cruise staff in general, but. Start off with Mark Hugh Anthony. He's one of the better cruise directors I've had. He's right up there with Matt. He's just as good as Matt. So Carnival, I can say their top two cruise directors are definitely Matt Meacham, who's currently on the Vista, and Mark Hugh Anthony, who is on the Carnival uh, Magic. And it's kind of funny. He did recognize me as soon as I got back on board the ship. Uh, now, I saw him only about three months earlier, so f for him to remember me for... A cruise three months early with the amount of people he has and also keep in mind he had two school vacation periods in that time that he remembered me it means a lot because that means I either made a really good impression on him or I did something incredibly stupid the first time around but I'm pretty sure it was just I made a good impression on him first time around and also that uh, that cruise was also my birthday trip so I had a lot of fun with him that time around that might be how he remembers me um Another person I would like to mention is uh, Carolina. She's one of the bar uh, waitresses in the piano bar. She also remembered me from December. Not only did she remember me, she, we talked about the good times I had. It was her birthday this week when I was on the cruise with her this time around. So we celebrated my birthday together in December, and then we got to celebrate her birthday uh, that past week in March. Um, it's a lot of fun, but she, she was incredible. She also remembered everything I like to drink in the bar. She remembered some of the songs I like to sing. So, <coughs> excuse me. So it was just, that's one thing I really do like about Carnival is that if you sell on them enough, you're going to get the same people again, and they tend to remember you more than NCL does. So that's another thing I really like about Carnival is that they're more personal. Um, but I'm getting off topic here. The next person I really want to uh, mention is my uh, room steward, Oscar. He he was phenomenal, and anyone who's ever cruised with me before can testify I'm not the cleanest person in the world. So he was exceptional. He put up with me and um, some of my uh, messiness, I'll say. Anyone who knows me well, as I said, knows I'm not the cleanest person in the world. So, um, but I do my best on a cruise ship to the room pretty clean, but he was outstanding. If I needed something, I had it um, within five minutes, for example. Uh, as a Platinum member, I get three free bags of laundry on a seven-day cruise. I asked him for a laundry bag, had it within three minutes, five minutes, and he was able to help me fill out the sheet and everything. He was wonderful, so I want to give a shout-out to him. He did an excellent job, so if you're on the Magic and you're on Deck 7, I hope you get Oscar as your room steward because he was phenomenal. Uh, another person I have to mention is Captain Vito. He was very friendly. You saw him all over the ship. He was willing to talk to you, take pictures with you. Like most Carnival captains, they are that way, but he was just seemed to be one of the most outgoing captains I've ever had on any cruise ship. So that's something I want to give a big shout out to Captain Vito and if I ever sail on the Magic again, I hope it's when he's the captain on board. Okay. 
Uh, the dining, dining staff in my dining room, once again, was very good. They knew my name by the end of the first night. They knew what I wanted, what I would like for dessert, what I was thinking dinner-wise. Uh, if I wanted this time, I really wasn't drinking at dinner. But um, if I was drinking, they knew what I would like to drink. So dining staff just is always exceptional. Um, I would like to get into the uh, entertainment now. Uh, as I spent most of my time, as you know, in the piano bar, Ben Gentry, he was phenomenal. He's a great piano bar player. If you're ever on Carnival and you happen to have him, you are going to have a great time. He takes great requests. He has, uh, I'm not going to call him props, but he does have hats that he hands out to everyone during certain songs. So everyone gets a hat. Then he does a great thing when you're doing shots. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You'll have to find out for yourself, but he is phenomenal. Um, and he, if you ever on a carnival cruise when he's your piano man, you are going to have a wonderful time. Um, next, I have to mention Steady Rush, Molly and Kaylee. They are two uh, performers on the ship. They have their own little, uh, it, I'm not sure what if I call them, they're like a duet. They uh, also have a page on Facebook. If you follow Steady Rush, I definitely recommend it. They are phenomenal. They are very friendly. I follow them on Facebook. I also communicate with them outside of the ship. I've sailed with them a couple of times. They actually remembered me from over a year ago, so I had a great time with them. They actually recently gave me a shout out on their uh, Facebook follow page, so I just want to mention them, how great those two are, and if you get a chance, go on their YouTube page and look at some of their, uh, some of their songs and some of their, uh, what they're all about, because those two are, are phenomenal. Um, the next person I have to mention is the comedian, Happy Cole. As always, he was funny as hell. I, I'm just glad that I didn't have too much to drink before the, uh, before his performance, otherwise, because I, I might have lasted a heart, I would have pee myself, but luckily I was, I went to the bathroom before his performance, and I didn't have that much to drink during it, so I'm just happy, because he made me laugh my ass off, so, big shout out to Happy Cole, if he's ever on a Carnival cruise ship that you're on, you definitely want to check out his show, he's great. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is the open air areas, the pool area, the in the aft ship, the aft of the ship, the back of the ship, it's wide open. It's not like a few other carnival ships where they have a gliding glass dome. It's completely open, so anywhere you sit out there, unless you're sitting directly at the uh, tides bar on the side of the ship, you're in the sun, so you can get a very good tan. You can sit back and just watch the ocean go by as you're sailing away, or just watch the sea, have a drink, relax. It's very, very relaxing out there. They, it's not adults only that pool, because there is a serenity area on board, so, um, but they do, uh, the lifeguards there do do their due diligence to make sure that if there are young kids around there, that they're not running around, they're not splashing, they're not uh, causing too much Havoc and pretty much behave themselves. I actually did see them kit, uh, not kick a kid out of the hot tub, but basically made them leave for a few minutes because he was splashing and not listening. So he made them leave for a few minutes. And when the mother asked what happened, he explained what happened. She was very understanding. She's like, "Okay, I understand. He has the he has a, a timeout from the hot tub." Um, one more place I really spent a lot of time hanging out on this uh, ship was the Red Frog Pub. Now, on this ship, they don't have a sports bar, but the Red Frog Pub on Deck 5, it's once you go past the casino a little bit, they, um, it's just as good as uh, the sports bar they're used to on other carnival ships, except for the fact it's not based all around sports. They have a bunch of TV screens around the bar. They have sports on. It's a great place if you just want to go and have a drink. I would suggest trying their... Uh, one of their craft beers in there, or you could just get a regular beer, one of their specialty drinks, anything you might like, I definitely recommend. It's a great place just to chill out. Every That's where they mostly have some karaoke in there, and they have uh, what is it? They have other little uh, musical performances in there. So if you're on this, you want to definitely check out the Red Frog Pub. It's very relaxing. Very. They have... Um, was it like a mini like foosball table or was it shuffleboard? You know the handheld shuffleboard. They have a foosball table and they have darts in there. So overall, it's a very fun place to be if you're looking just to uh, chill out, 
have some fun, have a drink. They do have a little bit of a food menu. I usually don't order from it, but uh, it's a very good place to be. So, um, with all that said, I'm going to give this ship and this cruise I was on a 10 out of 10. I can't, if I could go higher than 10 out of 10, I would, but I can't. But as I said, this was a wonderful ship. I've done it twice. I would do it again. And this is just, um, I give it a 10 out of 10. And if you have a chance to sail under Carnival Magic any time when you're looking for a cruise, I 100% recommend this ship. Thank you very much for watching this review, and I'll be back very soon with another tip video. Thank you.